hey guys welcome to this channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos but in case it's your very first time you're welcome so guys in this video i would like to just to how nollywood actress yabo ojo has out from care to promote his new movie book house streets so guys all you have to do is stay tuned and watch till end all right Actress Yabo Ojo has creatively helped Funke Akindele in promoting a new film, Battle on Bukau Street, on her Instagram page. Directed by Funke Akindele, Battle on Bukau Street is a story about two women who found themselves at the loggers' head when they set up a food business on the same street, causing commotion and rivalry between their families. Interestingly, the actress didn't create a promotional video for her close friend Tony Abraham, whose movie Ijakumo is also coming out this December. Unlike last year when Iyabo Ojo released a music video to help in creating awareness for Tony Abraham's movie, she only put up the movie trailer for Tony Abraham's movie promotion this year. Reaching her tent with Funke Akindele this time, the 44-year-old who handed a beef with Funke Akindele at the 2022 African Magic Viewers Choice Awards AMVCA described herself as the violent mama, adding that she will be attending the event. Showing her by invitation to the movie premiere on December 16, she wrote, it's a battle things happening on the 11th of December at the Film House Landmark Event Center Oniru. The movie premiere of the Arch Battle of Bukau Street, a Funke Akindele 8 and Toby Makindel film, I the Violence Mama Shabitier, live and direct to watch and slay at Funke Jenny Akindele. Congratulations there. Reacting in the comment of the post, Funke expressed gratitude to her colleague, saying, Iyabomi Oshegon, wow, amazed and grateful. Oju Onetie, see you there, my sister, thank you. It is a known fact that Tony Abraham and Funke Akindele are not friends, especially after they both picked the same date for their different movie releases in 2021. Following the clash in the release date, fans of both actresses were torn between visiting the cinema to watch Tony Abraham's The Ghost and the Towers or staying glued to Netflix for Funke Akindele's Omogeto Desado on the 10th of September 2021. Recall that a year ago, Iyabo Ojo called out Funke Akindele over the poor rating of Tony Abraham's Ghost and the Towers 2. Iyabo Ojo further accused Funke Akindele of being full of jealousy and negativity, adding that the Ghost and the Towers 2 will surpass Funke Omogeto the saga. Meanwhile, Nollywood stars Funke Akindele Bello and Tony Abraham were the two producers with the highest grossing films in 2020. Mrs. Akindele's Bello Omogeto, The Saga, and Mrs. Abraham's Fate of Alakada each grossed over 100 million naira in cinemas after the Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria released the 10 highest grossing films of 2020. While Omogeto, The Saga, which was released on December 25, 2020, grossed over 187 million. Fate of Alakada grossed over 130 million naira after its release on October 1, 2020. Alice Iyabo Ojo, born 21 December 1977, is a Nigerian film actress, director, and producer. She has featured in over 150 films and has produced more than 14 of her own. Iyabo Ojo was born as Alice Iyabo Ogunro on 21 December 1977 in Lagos, Nigeria, although her father was from Abel Okuta, Ogun State. She was the youngest of three children, having two older brothers. 
She went to school in Lagos at National College, Bagadao, before proceeding to study estate management at Lagos State Polytechnic. Having been involved in a drama group at secondary school, Yabo Ojo commenced her acting career in 1998. She registered with the Actors Guard of Nigeria, NGN, with the help of Bimbo Akintola, also able to network to other people. Yabo Ojo has scripted and featured in several Nigerian films. Her first thrill was a 1998 Satanic, an English language film. In 2002, she made a Yoruba language debut with Babada Region. In January 2015, her film Silence, which featured Joseph Benjamin, Alex Lucifer, Fethi Abalogun, and Doris Simon, premiered at the Silver Bird Cinema Ikeja in Lagos. In 2004, Iaba Ojo started producing her own films. Her first production was Bolua Tefe, after which she made Buffet Boko, Ololufe, Esson, and Okunkun Biribiri. She also divorced her husband before her film started. Marrying a Lagos based clearing agent in 1999 when she was 21, Iaba Ojo took a break from pursuing her career. She gave birth to a son and then a daughter, born in 1999 and 2001 respectively, namely Felix Ojo and Priscilla Ajoke Ojo, but is now divorced from their father. She has attributed to the breakup of her first marriage to marrying too young. She has spoken to her intention to stop using her former husband's surname Ojo. Iaba Ojo launched her NGO Pinkins Foundation, which caters to children with special needs and the less privileged, in May 2020. She celebrated the fifth anniversary of the foundation on May 1, 2016, and at the RA City Hotel Ikeja, Lagos. In April 2021, she strongly condemned fellow actor Yomi Fabii for sympathizing with Olan Rewaju Omekunle, known as Baba Ijesha, who was arrested for molesting a minor. On 12 May 2021, she took legal action against Yomi Fabii, who had earlier staged a protest requesting the release of Baba Ijesha for making defamatory statements about her. Her actions did not go down well with the Charter Arts and Motion Partitional Association of Nigeria, Tan Pan, and they blacklisted her on 28 June 2021. According to reports, actor Chide Kosoko, speaking for Tan Pan, said that Nollywood filmmaker under the association will stop working with her. And Nollywood actress Iabo Ojo has won so many awards and nominations. Best of Nollywood Awards, Best Supporting Actress in Yoruba, and she was nominated as well. Well, guys, that will be all about this video. Nollywood actress Iabo Ojo has creatively helped Funke Akindele in promoting a new film, Battle on Booker Street, on our Instagram page. And directed by Funke Akindele, Battle on Booker Street is a story about two women who found themselves at Logger's Head when they set up a food business on the same street, causing commotion and rivalry between their families. Wow, interestingly, the actress didn't create a promotional video for her close friend Tony Abraham, whose movie Ija Kumo is also coming out this December. Unlike last year when Yabo Ojo released a music video to help in creating awareness for Tony Abraham's movie, she only put up the movie trailer for Tony Abraham's movie promotion this year. Well guys, that's all about this video, about Iyabo Ojo helping our colleague Nollywood actress Funke Akindele to promote a new movie, Back to On Booker Street. And some Nollywood actors and actresses are featured in the movie. Thank you all for taking your time to watch my videos and please guys don't forget to like, 
subscribe drop your comments let me know what you think about this videos and also share this video thank you bye